Yo, what's up, you guys? This is T.A. from Noble Sports Entertainment, back at you with another one on today. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, I'd like to thank you for stopping by. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel because on this channel, we talk sports, period. All right, guys, without further ado, I want to get into this video installment. We're talking about running back Rodney Anderson, who is one of the most intriguing prospects in the 2019 NFL Draft. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, you know that we've been covering the Detroit Lions in the offseason, uh, thinking of ways uh, and thinking of uh, players that will um, benefit this team in 2019. And definitely, um, I've talked about a lot of various different uh, running backs that I feel and, and I think that would have a great um, opportunity to be the backup running back behind uh, star running back Kerryon Johnson. But at the same time, um, when I'm looking for a backup running back, I'm looking for somebody – if my main running back goes down, that second guy is a guy that can get the job done as well. So you're looking for a running back that doesn't miss a beat. If carry on happens to go down, you want a running back that will not miss a beat. He can catch out of the backfield. He can do it all. And I definitely think that uh, Rodney Anderson is that type of guy. Now, the red flags that I want to talk about about Rodney Anderson is that he's been injured a lot in college. Um, I think he's had three injuries. And uh, one of them was, uh, I think, a neck injury. The other one was a broken leg. And I believe also uh, he had an ACL tear as well. So there's a lot of red flags, you know, if you're trying to draft a guy like Rodney Anderson. But the talent uh, is undeniable. It's there, guys. Um, definitely make sure you get an opportunity to look at his highlights and his film work to see how good this running back is. Because to me, he should be a top tier running back. He's one of the best running backs in this class. Um, and I just wanted to say, um, if I'm looking for a running back, he's the type of guy that I'm looking for. He has that burst of speed. He hits the hole. Uh, he doesn't play around. He doesn't dance in the backfield. He just gets the job done. And that's the type of guy that I'm looking for, a guy with size and power, a guy that is able to uh, pass block. And now that's something that he maybe needs to work on and get a little bit better on his pass blocking. You know, every running back has a weakness and, you know what I'm saying, and they have their areas of strength. But that's one of his weaknesses that he probably is going to have to get a little bit better. But at the same time, he is a do-it-all running back. And uh, he has the size that I'm looking for. He uh, he can catch. He has elite receiving ability. And this is something that the Detroit Lions must consider. This must be a point of interest for them going into the 2019 season. Whether they get this running back, um via free agency or the draft, Rodney Anderson is going to be a very, very intriguing prospect. And would I gamble on Rodney Anderson if he came in the third or the fourth round? Maybe I may take that chance on him. And maybe I may draft him and get a free agent running back. I might just get two guys. And um, the thing of it is that I really, really like this guy. I think he's very talented. And I think that he has what it takes to be a star running back. Only thing that I'm concerned about is his health going forth. If his health is okay, I definitely think that he could be a guy that could solidify that backup role position to carry on Johnson. Rodney Anderson is a very, very talented running back. And um, you have to do the homework on this guy. You got to look at him from every aspect, his ability to catch out the backfield, his ability, uh, ability to be a one-cut guy and up the field. He doesn't waste a lot of time, guys. When he gets the ball and he – He's out of there. So definitely um, I would consider bringing a guy like Rodney Anderson on the team. So if I'm, a, if I'm Bob Quinn and I'm Matt Patricia, I'm definitely going to do my homework and do my film study on this guy. But there's a lot of running backs to take. And I just think that Rodney Anderson, if he didn't have the injuries and things of that nature, I think he would be a top tier running back coming into the 2019 NFL class. All right, you guys, I am T.A. of Noble Sports Entertainment. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because on this channel, you know what we do. We talk sports, period. I'm out of here. Peace.